I'd like to now introduce Mark Sutton, the chairman and CEO of International Paper, if you'd come to the stage. Uh, Mark is going to present the Leadership and Diversity Award to Eileen Gordon. Mark uh, runs International Paper in Memphis and uh, has joined International Paper as an engineer. And over the course of three decades, he's worked his way up and is now running the company. He's on the board of trustees at the new Memphis Institute and Memphis Tomorrow, a great organization that I used to chair. So I'm glad that, uh, that Mark is there. So uh, with that, please join me in welcoming Mark Sutton. Thank you, Steve, and good evening, everyone. On behalf of the Committee for Economic Development, I'm proud to honor Eileen Gordon, President and CEO of Ingredion Incorporated, with the 2016 Leadership in Diversity Award for her dedication to diversity in business. I want to tell you a little bit about Eileen's track record as a business leader and her focus on diversity. We all know that greater diversity in the boardroom is really essential in the environment we're operating in today. It's a complex and dynamic world out there, and we need to make sure we bring the best views possible to the table. And Eileen's been a real pioneer of boardroom diversity as the first female director of five public companies. During her seven-year tenure as CEO of Ingredion, she's built one of the most diverse corporate boards in the United States, and at the same time, it's all in the results. She's transformed the company into a leading global ingredient solutions company that's close to $6 billion in revenue and has a market cap of over $8 billion. She received the National Association of Corporate Directors 2013 Director of the Year Award and has been listed among Fortune's most powerful women in business. In 2015, Eileen was named chairman of the Economic Club of Chicago and she is the first female chair in the club's 85-plus year history. As a member of International Papers Board, where I get the benefit of Eileen's wisdom, as a member of our board of directors, she brings strong global acumen, a unique perspective, and a passion for driving success. What I like about Eileen is she knows that the true power of diversity comes from creating a culture where people can work together and develop to their full potential. She's a master of seeing connections, asking the right questions, bringing diverse people together, and drawing out the best results. I even got some advice from Eileen about something in our company at the reception tonight, so she's always trying to contribute. Please join me in congratulating Eileen Garden on this well-deserved recognition. Well, thank you, Mark, for that wonderful introduction. And although I was the first female director on several boards, as Mark mentioned, I must say I wasn't the first on the International Paper Board. And IP has had a great track record of board diversity. And Mark, I'll say it's a lot easier following other trailblazers instead of always being the first. But it's been a great experience. So first of all, I want to thank a lot of people in the room for being here tonight. And first of all, I want to uh, thank many members of the Ingredion Board who are here over here tonight for making the trip into New York. Uh, we have a great company, a great board. And I will correct Mark on one thing, that our market cap hit $10 billion about a week ago. I'm very proud of that. <laughs> I also want to thank many other professional peers that are here tonight to support Ingredion and me. Uh, we really appreciate that. And of course, there's two members of my diverse executive leadership team here today, uh, one just off a plane from Europe. So again, uh, Tony and Christine, thanks for being here. Now, I'm really honored to be recognized by CED with the Leadership and Diversity Award and to follow in the footsteps of other distinguished former recipients, such as Marilyn Carlson Nelson, who I've met, Dan Ackerson, I sit with him on the Lockheed Martin board, and Richard Edelman, a Chicagoan, actually. 
So I'm really passionate about diversity, and I think it might be inherent in my DNA. And here's why. Many years ago, when I was a junior in junior high school, and it was the 60s, the girls took home economics and the boys took shop. And I thought that was wrong. But that's why the things were meant to be. But I wouldn't accept it, so I went to the principal and I said, I want to take shop. Now, the principal's reaction was probably shock. But I can tell you, I'm not sure what the principal thought, but I do know this, I got to take shop in the 60s. And then I went on to MIT at a time when boys outnumbered girls by about 10 to 1 among the undergraduates, and actually 18 to 1 with the graduate students. And I knew it was one of the finest math and science programs in the country, but I also heard they were encouraging women to apply. So I went to MIT both as an undergraduate and a graduate student, and today I give back by serving on the board of the MIT Corporation and by participating on the MIT CEO Advisory Council. In fact, Steve and I were talking earlier about how I encouraged his daughter to apply and she's there today. So that's great satisfaction for me to see other women who are still being pioneers in the world of STEM education. So now I've been running businesses for 30 something years and my current company, Ingredion, has grown and prospered under diverse leadership. In fact, we rebranded our company. Many of you may know the old name CPC from New Jersey, Corn Products. We bought National Starch and we rebranded as Ingredion. But I'm proud to tell you that our board today is one of the most diverse in the Fortune 500. And of our 10 directors, four are female, two are Latinos, and one's an African American male. So it's a very diverse board. And again, thank you all for being here uh, representing our board. In fact, we have our board meeting next week. And of course, but that's what's going through my mind, all the messages for next week. And our executive leadership team is one third female. So empirical evidence shows that businesses and other organizations are more successful when women and diverse members play important roles. So at Ingredion, diversity of all kinds, gender, race, and nationality has been a major asset in our business. And we're pleased with our progress, but we realize that there's really more work to be done. To continue to succeed, we need even more diversity in manager and director positions to fill future leadership positions. So we're committed to continuing to make progress through our, what we have, our internal diversity and inclusion council, which oversees the execution of our diversity and inclusion strategy. In fact, they give me feedback all the time whether I'm doing a good job or not. But that's the power of an open culture. We have metrics and targets to diversify our workforce and programs to sensitize senior lever, leaders to the importance of diversity and inclusion. And I lead at our company by insisting on a diverse slate of candidates for every open mid-level to senior position. And then I discuss the logic by, used by each leader to select the best candidate. So I want to ensure that that diverse slate are all players that could do the job. And then why do they choose that particular player? Now, I'm also proud to report that the CED also advocates diversity, both in the workplace and on corporate boards. And so I love the Every Other One initiative of CED that really advocates that corporate boards replace every other vacant seat with a woman. And it's not a random goal because there's some arithmetic that says by doing so, women would comprise one third of corporate board seats in just a few years and 50% in the not so distant future. In fact, some people say that if you have 40% of a certain group, that's basically parity. And so I look at our board as having parity in terms of the female representation. It's just a normal part of doing business. So to make this happen, the CED representatives, both male and female, meet with company decision makers and discuss the advantages of female directors. And over the past year alone, these ambassadors have met with more than 50 CEOs and nominating committees of Fortune 1000 companies. 
So it's finally starting to take, but there's a lot more work. So now a final thought on diversifying the workforce. I grew up the daughter of an accountant. In fact, my parents are still alive today, and they, they give me my report card often. Now, my father would bring home work, and he would teach me how to do spreadsheets. And it might seem a bit of an odd activity for a 10-year-old girl, but looking back on it, I'm really grateful to my parents and to all my mentors for the chance to develop my math skills and for encouraging me to pursue a STEM education that had been seen as kind of a boys club. So an education in the STEM discipline enhances analytical thinking, which I really encourage at our company, fact-based decision making. And it's essential to making those fact-based decisions. In fact, um, without shop class in junior high school, physics and calculus in high school math and science classes in college, and an education at a world-class business school. Sorry, Harvard. MIT is really good. <laughs> I would not have been prepared for the opportunities that I've had. So it's perhaps no surprise that if you count up the women CEOs in the Fortune 500, the majority have STEM degrees. So while I was lucky to have support in these fields from an early age, not all young girls do. So that's why Ingredion and Eileen Gordon were a legacy supporter of a nonprofit in Chicago where our, our company is headquartered. And it's called Girls for Science. And it's a group dedicated to exposing Chicago area young women to science, technology, and engineering and math. In fact, they have to commit to have a B average or better and spend every Saturday morning at doing math and science activities. So we fund a scholarship to send several students to summer space camp in Huntsville, Alabama. And we spearheaded a summer STEM program with a local university. And we hired a couple of Girls for Science program alumni as inter interns this summer. And I spent time with these young women, helping them develop their career opportunities and even how to make presentations. And their excitement about their experiences is really infectious and encouraging. And I know that they went back and they told 10 other people who told 10 other people about the importance of STEM education. So it's grassroots, but it really can grow. In a place like Chicago, it's really doing well. So these are the types of ways that we can make a difference at Ingredion. And my team is very excited about what we see the capabilities of these young women are. So again, thank you for honoring me with this award. I appreciate the recognition. Thank you, Mark, for the opportunity to be part of the International Paper Board. We've done some great decision making and creating value for our shareholders. And I accept this award really on behalf of everyone who champions diversity at all levels of corporate America and beyond. Thank you.